also stops by from Sissy's Southern Kitchen and Bar. And then you have a taste studio as well. Yeah, uh, the taste studio is our catering company. So we've oh, had okay. a fully functioning event coordinating and catering company for the last 10 years. So we do. That's for your spare time. Yeah, my spare time outside of the restaurant, the yeah. new restaurant. Yeah. yeah. Busy, busy. So you're making uh, grits today. We right? are. We're making grits. Um, so at Sissy's, we are very known for our shrimp and grits, which is one of my yes. favorite dishes. But growing up, I loved in the morning just having a bowl of grits, which we have right here, with some toast. Um, cheese grits, I just think are good anytime. And you can make healthier grits if you want to. Nah. I like them cheesy. Yeah. Um, super easy. I will say one of the comments I get at the restaurant, and it always makes me laugh, I'll have people say, oh, these grits seem different. These are kind of weird. And I think it's because a lot of us that have grown up in the South have had instant grits. Okay. With yep. moms that worked. <laughs> right. Like instant oatmeal. Right. Yep. And so it's super refined. These are the, this is the real this deal This is the real deal. Okay. Yeah. So we're going to start out, I'm going to start out with a little bit of butter in here. And these are, let's look at that. These are real stone ground yeah. grits. And you see that texture? Real grits are actually more like polenta. Okay. And if you kind of think of it that way, which we would never think in the South that we're that fancy, but we really do have essentially something that's similar to Italian style polenta. Okay. Okay. The texture should be similar to polenta. You want there to be a little bit of a bite. So this is super easy. You're gonna melt your butter. If you want, um, I like to do a little bit of onion before I get this started. Um, get that in there. And then it's really just, I'm gonna put some stock. You like chicken stock? Chicken, I use chicken stock. Mm -hmm. I, I always, I mean, anytime it calls for water. Yeah, you just uh, use, use chicken stock. stock. Oh, really? I, it okay. just adds such great flavor. Okay. And then literally, look, we're gonna start about a cup and a half. I do about a one to six ratio. You're gonna add your grits. We've got a cup and a half. And, and then- you kind of just work it and in, And you right? just work it. Yep. You just keep working it. So, it's like mixing cement, which yeah. you probably do all the time as well. <laughs> yeah, so you're gonna keep mixing, so you'll just add your cup little, and half, okay. and then as it as it starts to stiffen up, mm -hmm. add a little more liquid. So if when this starts getting looking like, let's look at this one. When it starts looking like that, mm -hmm. yeah, that looks great. you just taste it. If it still needs a little longer, you just add a little more of the stock. Yep. And when you say taste it, little, basically you're just tasting the texture, texture. to see how hard it is. Yep, then. you're okay. tasting the texture. Mm -hmm. And you want it to be soft, but you do want there, again, that's why I always say, compare it to like a polenta. Right. You want there to little be bit a, of little bit of, yep. a little bit of that, of that um, texture left. Okay. And then once we get, so you're gonna work this, work this. We're gonna do the magic of TV. And let's pretend it's like 45 minutes later. Okay. So it takes about 45 Voila! minutes. Voila! You know yeah. And then you have these nice creamy grits. Now you can let this out as much as you want. So if you want a thick grit, mm -hmm. then this is a thick grit. By the time you add, you've got three different cheeses. Oh boy. This is where you just do it to taste. If you want lots of cheese, just throw cheddar, it in. Yeah, just throw it in. Cheddar, I like to do Ooh. a little bit of Parmesan for bite. Yeah. Okay. Um, and so we're gonna add that Parmesan. This is a Colby. A Colby, okay. Add whatever you oh, want. I like nice... to also fold in a little bit of sour cream or creme fraiche, which mm -hmm. you have right there. Yep. Yeah. That's different. I like to do them in my eggs too. Like a traditional scrambled egg, fold in a little. It just gives it a little okay. bit of that creaminess. Okay. Again, this is not a low fat version. No, that's okay. um, it's if you full want, of love though. It's full of love. But if you're just having a little bowl of this in the morning, you're not going crazy with a little bit of toast. If you wanted to make this healthy, then add more of the onion yep. and more of the vegetables that will flavor, and then use the stock. And We've this is got, what you did. Yeah. Yum. Looks We've great. got the recipe and a yeah, uh, link to Sissy Yum. Southern Kitchen and See, the taste this studio. This I'm like, mmm, all that cheese is <laughs> in there. Fox4news.com. <laughs> we'll, we'll be right, right back. back.